Here's how you could describe dying to self. When you are forgotten or neglected or purposely set aside, and you sting and hurt with the insult of the oversight, but your heart is happy being counted worthy to suffer for Christ, that is dying to self. When your good is evil spoken of, when your wishes are crossed, your advice disregarded, your opinions ridiculed, and you refuse to let anger rise in your heart or even defend yourself but take it all in patient, loving silence, that is dying to self. When you lovingly and patiently bear any disorder, any irregularity, any annoyance, when you can stand face to face with folly and extravagance and insensibility and endure it as Jesus did, that is dying to self. When you are content with any food, any offering, any clothing, any climate, any society, any solitude, any interruption by the will of God, that is dying to self. When you never care to refer to yourself in a conversation or record your own good works or itch after commendation, when you can truly love to be unknown, that is dying to self. When you see another prosper and have his needs met and can honestly rejoice with him in spirit and feel no envy nor question God while your own needs are far greater and in desperate circumstances, that is dying to self. When you can receive correction and reproof from one of less importance than yourself, and humbly submit inwardly as well as outwardly, finding no rebellion and no resentment rising in your heart that is dying to self." I, I, re I read that to you because I want you to understand the range of dying to self is vast. So first of all, if you're going to love your wife as Christ loves the church, it's a sacrificial love.